There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Developer Insights call. Today is December the 19th, 2022. I am your host, Nathan Williams. We are on this call to talk about arrow, red light, green light, and market makers trend. Whatever questions you have, need, concerns, issues, updates, help, whatever it is, that's what we're here for. Uh, a couple updates before we pass on the microphone to the crowd. Um, number one. Um, red light, green light may, has been making a majority of its trades outside of market hours. Uh, so right now we are experimenting with changing some of those market hours and seeing how they perform. Uh, so as to continue to get uh, better performance on red light, green light, uh, EA, uh, trading gold. Today, for example, and we'll just go in and I'll show it to you guys here. I'll show you uh, the red light, green light, EA, what it looks like, so that you can kind of get your eyes on it. And you see at least the, uh, you can see everything here. All right, great. So share screen, boom, boom, boom. All right, here is red light, green light. As you can see here, uh, pretty cool. Two things built into it. You can see here right now, we're running on demo accounts. As we test it out before the fully version, full version is released to the public. Uh, you can see it's got its um, info panel here. Let you know what your risk for trade is, just like Market Maker. Daily and weekly detector, just like Market Maker. So the same style of uh, trade, uh, I'm sorry, risk management that was built into Market Maker it has been added here. Let you know your account balance, daily change, weekly change, monthly change, your total change, and also let you know how much you paid in fees. So this account here has made $10.34 uh, and it only had $1.60 in fees. All right, another cool feature uh, is that we brought over from Market Maker is the diamonds, letting you know if they're red diamonds, let you know that those were sale trades that would have been put in if this was the right time of day or green diamonds for buy. So you can see here, these red diamonds came in after hours during Asia session. And you know both of those clearly dropped over hundred pips with max 35 pip drawdown. Uh, TP is 100 pips uh, with um, red light, green light. So these two clearly hit, take profit. But we haven't had any trades since then. So we're gonna experiment with opening up the trading window um, to see if, uh, if the results you know, uh, are lessened you know, when we open up you know, you know, London session and Asia session. All right, uh, you can also see another cool thing here is that uh, red light, green light, because it's not as sophisticated as Market Maker. You know, I have to let you guys know that with Market Maker, <clears throat> I let Market Maker run all day. I don't care what type of news there is because Market Maker, 60, 60, two thirds of the time, so 67% of the time, Market Maker is either going to hit TP or Market Maker is going to, or Market Maker is going to get, uh, is going to, hit TP or not be in the trade at all, all right? And we all know that a winning trade is the best trade, but a no trade is the second best trade. And of course, the losing trade is the worst trade. We don't want those. Um, but with red light, green light, we saw that there was a big drop off when news gets volatile and consistent. So with red light, green light, uh, we have uh, added a news filter. And so the cool thing about this news filter is it lets you know on the day what news is coming up. 
All right, it's pulling it from uh, Forex Factory. And so you literally get to see an on-screen news filter. And then you also get to see that news filter by hour. And you see right here, boom, boom, boom. It actually lets you know there was news right at this time frame, this line right here. All right, so pretty cool feature that we've added on you know, to uh, Red Light, Green Light EA here uh, is the news filter. All right. Um, but as you can see here, you know, the last four trades were prevented Friday and Sunday due to being outside of market hours. So, and all four of those trades were nice, uh, nice wins. All right. So we're working on trying to find a way to uh, improve the logic to, um, to um, uh, collect as many wins as possible. All right. Uh, let's see here. Outside of that, market makers trend will be getting reoptimized over the holidays, and the newest version will come out first or second week of January. Um, uh, as of market maker itself goes, I am recommending that everyone turn market maker off as of Thursday. So after Thursday, I recommend turning market maker off uh, after Thursday and turning it back on uh, second week of January, which will be. January 8th, January 8th, 2023 is when I recommend turning Market Maker back on. January 8th, all right, January 8th. So turning it off December 22nd, Thursday, and then turning it back on January 8th, all right? That's what I recommend just based on the holidays. It's going to be very low volume in the market because of the holidays. The market's going to be closed multiple days because of the holidays. Uh, there's going to be a lots of observation days, as you guys know. Christmas is on Sunday, so therefore next Monday, and that's Christmas here in the U.S. For those uh, who are in the U.S., it's, you know, it affects, it will affect U.S. 30 and the NAS 100. If you're trading DAX, you might be okay. Uh, but I recommend just turning Market Maker off as of this Thursday uh, through January 8th, as there just won't be any consistent, uh, there won't be consistent volume. Now, next week, you may have two or three days that have decent volume, but there won't be consistent volume to really keep things uh, flowing. All right. So uh, outside of that, uh, no updates for red light. I mean, for uh, arrow, uh, and those are all the updates that I have for red light, green light, and for market makers trend. What can I do for you? Anybody need any help getting set up? Hey, Nate, it's Steve. Steve, what's going on? What's going on? Not a whole lot, my guy. Just trying to get Market Maker up on my friend's account. Um, I've watched all your videos to try to get it up, and it still doesn't take any trades. We've got a live account. It's got 561 in the account, um, which I think is a good minimum for, like you said, the minis, but... I can't seem to get it to take trades for me. All right. What is the, uh, so let's go back to this here. When you're in, again, red light, green light works almost, we put the same virtual assistant in, in uh, red light, green light as we did market makers. So you want to come and you want to open up your navigator, I'm sorry, your terminal. You want to come over here to experts and then all your errors on why it's not taking trades should be in here. As you can see here, Red light, green light says trading prevented, and it tells you the reason why. So you should be getting those same, those same errors there, and that's where you look to see your errors, so that you can make your corrections. Mm, okay, okay. So I'm there, and oh, I can see that my guy hasn't been approving the trade. So you have to approve this thing every day, every 24 hours. If you are in the United States and you are using the MAV version, yes, you have to approve every 24 hours. Uh, you need to, uh, again, in the video, I talk about connecting the app and literally you'll get it, you know, if you get the app set up and set the app to notifications, then the Avoya Prompt app will send you a notification like, like you get a text message to your phone so that you can just simply, not I mean, so you can simply just uh, approve. So uh, yes, you have to approve every day in the United States. Okay. If you're outside of the US, you don't have to. I got you. So I didn't know about the AP app. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I didn't know about that, but I'll get him to download the AP app. And so it alerts him that says you're not getting any trades done because you're not approved. 
Yep, watch the video, uh, the first video on the website. It walks you through how to set up the app. You know, I walk you through, you know, how to use the app. Very user-friendly app. Uh, and literally, once you got it set up the first time, it will send you a notification every day, every 24 hours. So, for example, when he sets it up, he needs to set it up at a time that he knows he's going to be free, give or take, to do so. Like, you know, you don't want to do it during work hours because you might not be free the next day during work hours. But if you set it up, like, six o'clock in the evening when the market's not running, you know, the software's not running, then every day at six o'clock in the evening, it'll send you that notification every 24 hours at the same time so that you can just approve it uh, and be free to approve it. So uh, that is um, that is what I'd recommend. Okay, very well. I'll do that. All right. And Thanks, brother, man. And, and just reach out to me. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? Hey, Nathan, is there any reason we should turn DAX off at all? I see a lot of people don't use it for some strange reason, but I'm not sure why. Yeah, it all depends on the broker you're on. Some people, some people's brokers, you know, it does fine on, so they leave, they let it run, and some it doesn't. So, you know, I, I you know, I, was it you in the chat? Somebody in the chat had a good day today on DAX. Uh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I thought it, uh, that's what I thought. I, gl I just glanced at it. I didn't see exactly who, who exactly it was. I just saw somebody post. Very good day. Uh, what, uh, well, based on that account size, you uh, you on a prop firm or is this your personal account? Yeah, I'm using uh, Funded Trader right now. Funded Trader? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah the real good day. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it really depends on the broker you're on. That's really what it comes down to. That's really what it comes down to. Okay. But uh, as far as DAX, though, you know, I, I would, I would, uh, I would see no issue in running DAX. I would lower the volume, and the reason I don't see the issues, it really depends. Well, I, I want to say that America is the only. Again, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. I think America is the only country that really celebrates Christmas and takes off on of holidays. But you got New Year's coming up, things of that nature. So even if I was not in the U.S., which is DAX, so that's the German index. I probably would do the same thing and shut it down uh, Thursday and not run it back again until the second week of January. Maybe fire back up first of January, but you know, with the New Year's, you know, even people overseas, you know, everyone celebrates the New Year's. So that you know, so that, that that's the reason why, because it's, it's it's not about volume being there. Because there's gonna be a couple of days here and there that's gonna have volume. It's about the consistent volume. So if you let it run all week. You may have a couple of days where it takes trades and, you know, and it, it either hits stop loss or it just sits in drawdown or sits in small profit for hours or even days before it moves. And so you, then by the time it kicks in, you know, you may, you may get a, a, a little spike here and there. And then uh, uh, market makers anti hedge feature kicks in and, and closes your trades out, um, you know, in the negative or small profit or whatever the case may be. So just to uh, protect your account, that's what I'm recommending. Uh, even with even with that, so I, I now that I think about it, I recommend the same thing just due to the New Year's holiday coming. All right, appreciate it. Yep. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right. If not, um, we'll be back on Thursday. It will be the last call of the year. Uh, and if you guys are going to trade, make sure you trade responsibly. Oh, see you guys' hands up. What's up, Steve? Uh, real quick, the, the app is AP Go, right? Correct. Everything's on the website, bro. I mean, I, literally on, on the back office. I mean, you watch the video, like I show everything how to, how to log into it, how to download it, how to connect it to Market Maker, everything. So it's all, it's all, it's all in the videos. And that's in the Market Maker Trend setup. Beautiful. I'm there now, so I'll watch all of these videos. Yeah, good. Like, so if you got any questions, yeah, reach out to me. I can, I can walk you through it. But yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to use. You know, AP made a, did a good job of making the app real friend, you know, user friendly. Sweet. Can't wait. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. You're gonna trade the rest of the day. Make sure you trade responsibly, and I'll see you guys in the funny paper. Thanks. <laughs>